When an ecosystem experiences drastic change, some species quickly go extinct. Ecosystems are made of many species that depend on each other in complex ways, so the loss of one species can lead to the loss of others later on down the line. The number of such extinctions that happen even long after the initial habitat change is known as the extinction debt. Why do some species take longer than others to go extinct? If we understand the underlying principles, it should help to design better conservation policies, such as habitat restoration and species reintroductions. We looked at research published in the last 10 years and characterized the current estimations of extinction debts, the main ecological processes delaying extinctions, and aspects that remain less well understood. Extinction debts have caused 9 to 90 percent of species in an area to go extinct, and the time for the extinction debts to be paid ranged from 5 to 500 years, with some projections reaching 1,000 years. Individual species may survive longer than others because of traits like long lifespans or stress tolerance. Examples include plants that can cope with low light levels or animals that can change their behaviour. Population dynamics are also important. For example, species that can produce offspring by clonal reproduction have an advantage, and populations whose numbers are kept high through immigration can often survive longer than isolated populations. Genetic diversity is an important factor in whether a species or population can adapt to changes in their ecosystem. When a species goes extinct, other species that depend on it can go extinct, creating a cascade effect. Which species will survive the cascade, and why? Will new interdependencies form? Are there ways of predicting them? Can a cascade be stopped once it is started? If so, how? Extinction is complex. To better understand how and why a population or species goes extinct, computer models can explore the relative roles of the different processes that cause species loss. These models, alongside monitoring of real extinction events, can help develop policies to prevent biodiversity loss now and in the future by mitigating extinction debt.